I don't know if it's filming or not yet. Okay, so it is filming. Um, so it's kind of hard to do an intro like facing me um, with this camera on my phone. But anyways, we're going to start with this tour for today. Um, I got a beautiful palm tree. A really pretty palm tree. I do need to get a soil. I'm going to pot it. I'm not going to pot it in this pot because that is for a white trumpet tree. But I am going to put it in a very pretty pot since it, you know, it's pretty. This is a pink trumpet tree. We're going to just get started with this tour. This is a pink trumpet tree. Um, which is, is pretty healthy. Um, but it ain't going to bloom this year. None of my trumpets but the one in the last video is going to bloom. Um, and this is a mystery trumpet. And they told me that this one is white, so I'm ho both of these. This is the these two are mother. They all they come from the same plant. So this one was dying, so I I just cut it back. I got to clean that pot out. But the, I'm really counting on this one to live and make it real pretty. Uh, that is a pink trumpet. <clears throat> Sorry. That is a pink trumpet. That one is the double pink trumpet. You know that I bought. These are my nanny's banana trees. Um, let me see if I can turn this around and get a good view. These two right here are hers. And then here, wait, let me go up and zoom. Right here, I got the little cactus. And then this is my split leaf philodendron. Hold on, I'm gonna pause you and fix my mic. Okay, I'm back. This is a split leaf philodendron. I'm not sure the actual name. I know it's a split leaf, but I'm not sure you know the scientist's name, I guess you'd say. These are my four clocks. Neither one of my four clocks are open. I got this beautiful purple color. And then I bought a mystery seed pack, and I heard these red ones are very, 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 very rare. So I got rare, and then I got one that's kind of reminding me of a tiger. It's the the flower is um, like an orangish, yellowish color with pink polka dots, and I'm very excited for this white one to open up. This is just a rare collection. Um. And then, you know, my eggplant, my okra, um, and then I got a shamrock plant in here and a lemon lime, um, justina. Um, and then right here, I'm just, you know, basically giving up on these plants because I don't think they're going to live uh, or produce anything, which I did think I seen one on there. Yeah, I did see one. But see, these dumb caterpillars keep eating my tomatoes, so... I'm going to have to buy new seeds. So then I got, you know, the, um, uh, cantaloupe, tomato, um, and then here is, uh, some kind of la pink, uh, la, la, something, and it's, um, for the pollinators. I got, uh, lettuce here that was blooming. I, 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 I grew this lettuce here. Just to have the pretty flowers. A pineapple plant I started. We will do all this fun stuff. Come winter. I will make a video about. How to do your pineapple. And your avocados. Uh, but that is a pineapple I took from the top. I kept that in the greenhouse all year long. The top of it. It, had it did die. The water froze up and everything. And just the base of it lived. A Hoya Sweetheart. Um. Uh, Ficus. I don't say the name. This is urban aren't urban jungle. But it is is at a black ficus tree. If, if anybody knows the name of this black ficus, please let me know. I'm not sure the name. I would love to sell that plant, but I just don't know the name, and I don't like selling stuff I don't know the name. Then I got a beautiful. Um. 
confederate rose. I really thought this confederate rose was going to die. But it didn't die. It lived. And then the hibiscus, which everybody loves this plant here. My cousins, and then um, everybody loves the hibiscus. Uh, if anybody knows, if you could put that in the greenhouse. My greenhouse is not heated. I got a peony, and then my squash plant is not doing too good at all. Uh, polka dot plant and a agno. I think it's aglaonema. I'm not sure. Right there. And then I have a dogwood right here. This is a variety of outside plants and house plants. A hosta, spider lily, a fiddle leaf fig, a philodendron here, um, a lilac right here, it's a lavender color, and then a spider baby and the spider mama. And I have here uh, the uh, what do you call this plant? Lemon tree. Brain fogged up there. Then I have a Confederate rose. This is the the one I showed you in the blue pot. Is the one I said I didn't think it was gonna make it. It was actually that one's gonna be white, and this one's a light pink, almost a white. So that's gonna be pretty. I have two of those, and I have. Three or two. I only got... I got two of each. And then like a little rose. A little rose area. Which that uh, elephant ear should be back here. Shouldn't have been... The elephant ear actually don't need to be back here. I do like my pretty plants to be out here in the front. So everybody can see them. Can you see that? I like all the pretty plants. Um, I'm not sure why it's leaning, but it's trying to lean towards the light. So it'll just, you know, fall back and back in place. Um, and then my favorite plant of all of right now, I think, would really actually be this bird of paradise. I only paid $16 for this big white bird of paradise. I don't know if they have this or not, but I would really like to have a variegated, uh, variegated, uh, bird of paradise. I'd like to have one of, one of those if they have them. I have to check and see. They'd be pretty to invest. A golden pothos. I've seen variegated parlor palms. I'd love to get one, but they're too expensive. I'm sure the bird of paradise will be very expensive. And I don't know, y'all can, might can be go back, might go back on, back in winter, and look how bad this plant looked, and I just stuck it outside, and you can just see the beautiful, the beauty of it. It's been in that pot ever since I had it. Um, and then my Hoya Australis, let my phone adjust, my Hoya Australis. And this is a, the newest one I have so far, is my asparagus fern. Actually, I think they said this is a, a fox foxtail. It's either asparagus or a foxtail fern. A pilea Chinese money plant. Another spider plant. And then my table of house plants, except for the hydrangea here. That's not a house plant. But I just love that having here because, you know, it was pink, but now it's turned back to green. Uh, fig tree. Um, you can... Peace lily. Um, I'd like to show you all this. My Refitifora Tetris Firma. I think I did an unboxing on it. But uh, it all the leaves fell off of it. And then I stuck it outside and look how pretty it is. Got all brand new leaves. And the newest leaf has a split in it. It does have ants in the soil, so all my house plants really. I'm gonna have to put them. Um, have a soil. I have to redo the soil and everything. I I have a bad infestation of. Um, I can't think of them. What them bugs are. They're like 
they make like little spider webs. Um, I'm not sure what they are. And then back here is my, uh, what do you call this plant? What do they call this plant? A, uh, gosh, dang. I can't think of this. Brazil philodendron. I got two of them. I bought this one at Bellwood. And I, and I thought it was going to die. I just took it out in the greenhouse and just looked how pretty. Them little bugs right here is what I'm talking about. It jumped off. This is a pretty leaf right here. I love this plant. I think it's the prettiest one out of, out of all out of them two. I got that at Bellwood for $12. Got this one for $24, I think. Um, the name tag, I ripped it off. Or not the name tag, the price tag. It didn't have a name tag with it. But I did love that plant. And this is what I call my... I need to clean it up, I know. But I... This is what I call... Um... My... Hospice. My plant hospice care but all these plants are for sale or they're not for sale on here i'm selling them like it like i guess you call it like a yard sale or something that's what i'm having for these plants i got hostas and everything else but one plant that i really think i really like and i think people might buy it if they know what it is is my dwarf banana tree I'm going to show you my mother banana tree, which is still a young, I guess you'd call it like a teenager banana tree. Run into a spider web. Sorry, y'all. Um, I think that's really it, but this is all plants for sale. Um, see, I took some cuttings over there. And then here's some more. Both those, I'll add them together. Make another full plant. I'll probably pot them in that pot actually you know what I'll do I'll make a repotting video and what I'll do is I'll take this finding one put down there and put these two up in that pot because they're not root bound I just need them in a bigger pot um, my piece lily um, got burnt a little bit but now it's recovered and, you, and some people know that this plant I was struggling with. I don't know what it is. It's dark green leaf. Focus. With dark green leaves with, what do you call that? Like a limish color. And I'm going to give you an update on my water lily. i got to clean all this up. Um, my name tags I was keeping, but I, ain't gonna, I decided I'm not going to keep them. I'm just going to use tape um but anyways this is an update on my water pond and see the oh, focus the um little lime rush or something and i got two water lilies that are there got cannons that need to be repotted um, this fig tree is in a beautiful terracotta pot with fig, two figs I'll enjoy this year. So I'm going to move y'all along the back of the greenhouse. Um, and to, uh, not afraid to garden. If you do want a, a variegated angel's trumpet, I'm going to send you this one. Um, I figured that'd be a nice thing to do. To give my viewer something, um, and it don't cost much to ship. I, I shipped one away the other day for like well, how much was it? I don't know. It was like eight dollars. Um, my avocado tree. This is a very small avocado. Um, I don't know why, but here in Georgia, we only get tiny avocado seeds. Some people get some so big the size of my hand, but I just ain't had no luck finding one of those. 
types. So my fig trees did not make it. I have one that m will probably make it, but them didn't make it. I got a blue hosta, a red calla lily. I don't know if that was a, supposed to be a leaf or that was supposed to be a flower. But anyways, it is very pretty. And this is a fig tree. I'm not sure. I took this cutting. I'm not sure what kind of... I know it's a fig tree, but I'm not sure what type. I only got the Chicago fig or the uh, yellow fig. I got a yellow rose bush, a miniature yellow rose bush about to bloom. I propagated these cacti, waiting them for them to root. Yellow canna lily. Then of course y'all know them, whatever them are. Some kind of lilies. They didn't have the name, it just said lilies. Um, a newer addition. I don't know if actually, I think I got the asparagus fern. And then I got, and I, then I got, no I got the, this and then the asparagus fern. But this is my Madagascar palm. It needs to have repotted, but I ain't had no luck here in Georgia to find uh, my soil here for palm trees. Because you know I don't want to overwater that. I got a, um, this is about the size of the mother, and this one's a lot healthier than the mother. Uh, but that is a mother a thousand. I'm not sure if, what varieties this one is or that one. But they're both mother a thousand. And then I had to take this from outside. It started rotting at the tip. Which y'all can see if the camera would focus. Let me put it down. It might focus better. You, anyway, you can see it's rotten. I was trying to save it. I got some cacti working there. Cacti. Well, this is a palm tree, but it kind of reminds me of a cactus because of the... It's a palm tree, but it reminds me of a cactus because of thorns. And then this is that tulip looking one. It's almost healed. I just cut it yet day before yesterday. Um, and then I got this another split leaf philodendron. Snake plant. And then these are some kind of um, plant. I'm not sure. And then I'm repotting this one as well. This is another palm tree I'm going to repot. Because if I don't it's going to end up dying. My, I, my aunt bought this for me for Christmas. Um, we actually did pop this up on, on here, and you can see how long it got. It's probably about a foot, uh, probably a foot and a half high. A fig tree I bought, I thought it, sorry about drop the palm. I thought this one was going to be a, um, LSU fig, but it's not. I looked back, and I, for some reason, the order got misplayed. I misread the order. I got my mother of thousands pushing off a bunch of babies for me to sell um, here in here in the winter time. Um, and then another beautiful flower is slowly fading. It's a tiger lily. Maybe I'll get a better picture or a picture or a, vi or a short video because um, I ain't done one of those in quite a while. Um, if anybody can give me advice, I ain't over water or underwater, and I don't want to put it in the ground because the other one I put in the ground died. Uh, my Christmas cacti, and then my red uh, canna lily, and then of course my beautiful tomatoes. That that my full grown one is about rotted off. Then we'll stay there all year. The tomatoes. And what they'll do is they'll release that uh, seed, and then they'll they'll come out. Well, we're gonna move to the front of the flower bed. We're gonna move to the f front of the greenhouse where the flower bed is. Okay, so starting at the most prettiest plant, actually, other than the bird of paradise, is my beautiful banana tree. This is something when people come to my greenhouse. This is, I know it's not. As pretty as some plants here I have. In my opinion, it's not as pretty as a angel's trumpet when it's blooming. But as of right now, everybody says they love my banana tree. They think it's the prettiest one I have so far. Um, but, of course, here in uh, fall, they're going to change their mind. Because the trumpets, the confederate rose, will be blooming. Um, hydrangeas will be blooming. But as of right now, a lot of people say that the banana tree is their favorite. 
and I can see because it's pretty, but to me, I just don't, I don't think it's as pretty as some of my other plants, like my Rosa Sharon I was telling y'all about. Is white and red. I'm so excited because, you know, I thought it was going to be purple because, you know, we have so much purple around here. But they do create a seed pod. My cypress vine is blooming, but you have to come out early morning to see it. It's closed up for the night. Um, then I got some, uh, what do you call them, plant? Fork, uh, not fork, morning glories. They should be blooming around, <laughs> around the time. I reworked my creeping Jenny so it looks terrible. Um, and then I have my ice plant down there looking good. My Lady Banks rose, I thought it might bloom, but it's it's not going to bloom this year, I don't think. I think it's going to bloom. Well, y'all can't really see. I think the it's going to bloom here next spring. Um, then my beautiful Confederate rose will bloom this year, I believe. Do you see how big it is? It's almost as high as me. The canna lilies are about to bloom. Yeah, the canna lily is about to bloom. Um, and then my uh, purple canna lilies are very big and beautiful. Um, and then my monkey grass is blooming um my yellow bell bush bloomed this year but i'm sure it'll bloom better next year elephant ear i'm thinking about removing this elephant ear from out of this flower bed because it's not really serving no purpose i know it's pretty but you know it's actually kind of killing all my other plants it's very big and pretty it loves the space but it's just I want to see my butter, my um, yellow bell bush, and this doesn't flower. And I already got it pro almost enough plants that don't flower in here. I've got some like the willow tree will just. I'm never going to plant that in the ground here because we're thinking about moving couple, uh, in about a year from now. The banana tree, I don't know how I'm going to dig it up, but I know I'm going to dig it up somehow. The wisteria as well. The wisteria, the banana tree. The lady, all, every plant that's here is going with me. Every plant that's here. I'm going to find a way to dig some of them out. Like if the banana tree gets too big, I'm going to find a way to dig it out. And then I got my wisteria. Now that might be a plant I ain't going to be able to take. Depends on how big it gets. Um, but you know, I can always remove seed from it. Or uh, harvest um, cuttings. Because I've heard they're easy to root. Um, calla lilies. Uh, what do you call it? Cantaloupe. Uh, canna lilies are, I cut them back. Uh, I doubt they're going to bloom this year. But I'm going to cover all these plants up with straw. And before I cover these up with straw, I'm going to put some bulb tone. Scratch the soil and loose. And put some bulb tone on, on the... Um, all the bulbs I have, the tulips, all the calla lilies, the cannas, um, and here's the calla lily bloom right here. I got the red one too. I'm going to plant the red one out here. And then here I have my other confederate rose. Remember I said I have two. I got two white, the one in the blue. They, they turn white and then all the way to red, white, pink, red. I'm going to do a time lapse on it. Um, and I got two, two white and I got two pink, two light pink, and that is one of the light pinks. And then the other light pink is, where is the other light pink? I think, I'm pretty sure I showed you all my other light pink confederate rose. I don't know where it's at, but I know that one. Actually, I do know where it's at. It's in a pot over there. Um, and then my lemon lime, my limelight. Is it lemon lime or limelight? I can't remember. Limelight. Limelight hydrangea, which is from Prover Winters. I got it around this time last year. I thought it was going to die and I had to plant it out here. So limelight hydrangea, and this is in full sun, so I'm pretty sure it's going to love it. It said full, 
I don't know if it said full sun on here, but I heard they say they like full sun. It says shade, but then it says full sun too, so I guess they can take both. Um, but you can see it's pink. It's like a limish color, and then it turns pink. Um, and then my, of course, my poor little day lilies are not going to do too good, but I am going to give them fertilizer. You can see how my dad's okra is just, just trying to smother my plants, but ain't no way it's going to hurt my plants. I'm not going to let that happen. My willow tree is starting to, see, who sorry y'all, willow tree is starting to get Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour of all these plants. I hope you like it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.